Hello, I'm Audrey Anton, Junior Tyson Fellow at the Institute for Advanced Studies, CEU Budapest. My project is on Aristotle's theory of vice, a book-length treatment of the character type of the most vicious person possible. I believe that vicious ignorance is the key to understanding the character of vice. We will say that somebody is ignorant if they are sexist or racist or homophobic. But when we say that people like that are ignorant, we don't mean that they are lacking some sort of knowledge per se. It's not like the racist doesn't know about other races or the sexist doesn't know about other genders. It's actually something far worse. And I think that's the kind of ignorance that Aristotle had in mind when he discussed the vicious person. My project centers around five claims to which I believe Aristotle is committed. And I do recognize that the five claims taken together are kind of difficult for us modern thinkers to reconcile. Let's take them one at a time. The first three are actually pretty easy to reconcile together. The first is what I already told you. The vicious person is ignorant of the good. The vicious person does not know what the right thing is to do, therefore they won't do the right thing, and they certainly don't feel appropriately towards the good. They identify bad ends as if they're good ends. Second, like most people, the vicious person acts for an apparent good. The vicious person believes themselves to be doing something justified. And third, the vicious person enjoys a kind of harmony in their soul. What they believe to be good and what they want to do are in concert, and so they don't regret their actions. And because they don't regret their actions, they are unlikely to change their behavior. Now, those three together don't seem very problematic. But when you add the following two claims, that the vicious person is responsible for their vice and therefore blameworthy, and the vicious person is miserable, we start to have some tension and some problems reconciling Aristotle's theory. Because if the vicious person has harmony in their soul, you would imagine that they would even be at peace. But Aristotle is very clear that they are in fact miserable. Similarly, if the vicious person is ignorant, we might consider that an excuse because we usually excuse ignorant behavior. However, for Aristotle, the ignorance of the vicious person is in fact the offense. So how do we reconcile these five claims? Well, you'll have to read the book to find out, but I'm happy to give you a few hints right now. The kind of ignorance that the vicious person has, according to Aristotle, is more than just not knowing. It's being wrong in a certain way. And because the ignorance that they have gets in the way of them having a kind of life that would make somebody happy, they will be miserable.